Jack, what's it with people? You know, they get used to the way things were in the past. People remember, yeah. you know, the 1990s, early 2000s. You know, my, my house price went up 7 or 8% right, every right. year. No more. Yeah, I talked with someone earlier who said, why are you so bearish on housing? <laughs> I'm not the least bit bearish on housing. I think deals are pretty good right now. There's plenty of reason for people to buy houses right now. As a house. But the possibility of a price increase is not one of them. On average, over long time periods, the rate of appreciation for houses matches the rate of appreciation. Right now, prices are back to their 1998 level if you adjust for inflation. You know where else they're back to? Their 1986 level, their 1955 level, and their 1895 level. We've had more than a century that house prices have not outpassed inflation. Why would we expect them to begin doing that now? All right. Now, we do have the funny thing. First of all, if you look at that uh, graphic we have, there was that big bubble that people probably remember very, very well. I do see a little something there's, over there towards the right. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bubble there towards the right. But the point that you're making is basically if when you adjust for inflation, yeah. home prices typically have increased by inflation. But there's a big but to this, and all that right. is the following that because of the mortgage deduction yeah. in the United States yeah. and because there is also leverage employed mm -hmm. for mortgages, mm -hmm. people's rate of return on their equity, on their yeah. equity investment, seems to them to be a lot greater than the increase in home prices. Because in fact, it has well, been historically. When you have, have one-time policy changes like that, you get a one-time shock to prices, and then it's done. So it doesn't matter to someone buying today talking about their future price increase on their house. The thing you want to look at when you buy a house is you want to look at the same thing you get from your shoes or from your from your anything, the utility, right? So with houses, you want to take a look at what are the rents for comparable properties in your area. And in this column on smartmoney.com, I discuss how to compare yearly rents with house, house prices to come up with a rent yield and discuss houses in a similar way that you would discuss bonds. Right, but Jack, we know the old saying, which is, you know, uh, all real estate is local, or what is it, location, location, yeah, yeah, location, yeah, yeah. What, are the, what are all these cliches? Here we have a look here at the 10 and right. 20 city composite, yeah. and you must give me some credit or acknowledgement that if you look in certain markets, for example, maybe Los Angeles or New York City, Manhattan real estate, right. they have kind of outstripped inflation over the past, haven't they? Tell me I'm right or wrong. Well, they, they absolutely have. Some of those markets have gotten expensive. However, you know, rents have, have, have done that too. Right. There are a handful of markets, if you're looking at, if you're comparing rents to prices, there are a handful of markets in the U.S. where arguably you're still better off renting. New York City happens to be one of them. Um, you've got San Francisco, you've got you know, maybe Washington, but in most markets in the U.S. right now, I think it's overwhelmingly in favor of, of the buyer right now. It, deals out there are pretty good, and the reason you know to buy is, again, just this utility you get in terms of the, the, the money you're saving on rents. This idea that we're waiting for house prices to come back, come back from what? House prices have never been a big performer. They've never outpaced inflation. You get these short-term little bubbles and busts. Well, with well, the short-term bubble, say, in the New York metropolitan area or in certain select parts of the country, yeah. uh, those... But, but, low, by the way, but no, no, I'm, by the way, I agree, but they, but they lasted for many, for but by the way, a couple of decades of people's adult lives. Be, That's what they remember. Be careful, by the way, about saying things in New York City have been, have done this in the past, therefore they will do I'm, that in the I'm, future. I'm not That's that. recency I'm, bias. I'm, no I'm one not, lives I'm, in a special market. No one can uh, beat this gravitational pull of the rate of inflation going forward. Uh, I'm merely trying to explain, Jack why people's minds right, are right. around you know it's like it's like yeah. when you you know you used to see an apple stock going up fifty dollars you know every yeah. couple of weeks and then people go well, wait a second it didn't go up fifty dollars again there is a fact that that is what makes an impression on I people's brain you know i think people are coming around now i think five years ago it was near religion that buying a house is the best investment you could possibly make i think we're coming around now to where people are kind of a little bit down on the home buying decision and uh, you know ironically right now it's a better time than it has been in a long long time to buy a house so okay so you're you're strangely you're i would call it bearish or realistic on home price increases yeah. but bullish on the Your idea of your prices are going nowhere relative to inflation but you should probably buy a house anyhow